Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Usually I do unboxings live here on my YouTube channel, but my package just came and it's late. So um, instead of waiting till tomorrow, because I really want to play with this palette, instead of just waiting till tomorrow, um, I'm going to play with it tonight and then just, you know, make this some pre-recorded content. Um, if you're watching this hoping that it's going to be the Bejeweled palette, it's not. Sorry, I'm just letting you know now it's not. Um, that palette's pretty and everything, but it's too dark. Um, I love blues and purples, but if I'm going to go super dark, I also need to have a transition color in the palette, and that one really didn't seem to have one. So instead, I bought uh, one of their older palettes, but I didn't have it, so it's going to be new to me. And it is the Sun and Sea eyeshadow palette. And then I also bought a empty magnetic palette just so I could put some shadows into it. I had to take a call, so I'm just gonna pretend to unbox it for the first time. <gasps> Woo! Ah! Sun and sea! Pretty. Okay. Let me show you. Ah. No, it is not a magnetic palette. But if, this is one of their older ones. Some of their newer palettes are magnetic, but this is not. I don't care about that. That's fine. I love this color story. I love this color story more than I love the bejeweled color story. So do you guys remember the Soft Glam palette that I have? I actually gave that to a friend who's just getting into makeup because I thought it would be perfect for a beginner. So I was like, hmm, I need another Bella Butte Bar palette. And I was like, what do I want? So this is what I decided on. Um, I got this during the Black Friday sale, so I did not pay full price. And look how lovely it, lovely it is automatically. I am drawn to the neutrals, which is probably what I'm going to be doing today because I have been doing a lot of color. The whole bottom row is very sun, or is very sea. It's got blues and greens, which are going to make my brown eyes pop. And then you have some purples and peacock shades right here, along with this copper. It's like a pinky copper kind of shift. It's very pretty. Gorgeous. And then, on top of the neutrals, you have a light transition color and these two shades right here, which are probably going to be multi-chromes. Yes, they are. So, gorgeous. And of course, it's the same formula that I know and love from Bella Butte Bar. So, I'm going to create a look real quick and uh, basically give you my thoughts. But... I'm pretty sure you guys already know. I don't buy things just haphazardly to like something this expensive to try it. I already know that I'm going to love something when I have to pay a hefty price tag for it. And you guys know Bella Butte Bar is not cheap, okay? So, um, yeah, let me just get into this and we can have a little bit of a chit chat. Here's the look I did using the palette. I did cheat a little bit. I went in with a single shimmery red shade from Amazon that I had picked up in the past just because I wanted something a little bit more red. So this is the color story that we're working with today. Sun Babe, Overexposed, Basque, Sunset, and then that red shade that I had gotten from Amazon. These are the colors I'm doing today. <clears throat> I'm first gonna go in with Sunbathe all over my lid. I'm first gonna go in with Sunbathe all over my crease and upper crease. This is going to act as the outermost transition color. There is a lighter shade called Tan Lines in here, but I wanted the warmth from the sunbathed shade. I'm going for like, 
kind of like a sunburnt theme. I'm going to be using a lot of terracottas on my face and stuff. So that's why I wanted to maintain the warmth in my eyes. And if you saw that I had um, pink eyelids, it's because I did a look already using a different palette and um, it's stained. But it did not affect this look. So really just working that into my upper crease area. Next going in with this shade Overexpose and working that directly into my crease. These shades are as soft as the ones from the Soft Glam palette, which was the very first palette I ordered from Bella Beauté Bar. So, and the pigment does not disappoint, as you can see. I would have loved to see a super dark brown in here. Um, it, I don't think it needed a black, but definitely like a super, super dark brown or a super, super dark blue because the majority of these shades are mid-tone or mid-range brightness, I should say. So this is the darkest blue and this is the darkest brown. I would have just liked to see something a little darker. I'm also putting that overexposed shade on my outer and inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going in with the shade Basque, which is the darkest brown in the palette. And I'm going to be placing that on my outer and inner corner as well, but I'm going to be using a dense brush so I can build it up. Next, I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Glue. And right on top, I'm going to be applying Sunset and that red shade that I got from Amazon. All right, and then going in with my finger, applying the shade Sunset, which is a duochrome. It goes from, what would I say, like a gold to a pink. And then I'm going in with overexposed and putting some more of that into my crease to further shape the eye look. Now I'm going in with the red shade that I got from Amazon. and I'm going to be placing that right in the center. Just to give it more of a red look rather than pink. I'm gonna do a quick time jump, come back with my eyes finished, my face done, and my final thoughts on this palette. All right guys, here is the final look. What do we think of this palette? 
what do we think of the look that I did with this palette? I wanted to do something just really bronzy, borderline sunburned, borderline orange sunburned, and I think I achieved that. What I thought was really cute was that the two sparkles, this, the sun kiss sparkle is actually green, while the water nymph sparkle is actually a pink. So I thought that was really funny, but um, Besides that, yeah, I love this palette. I think I'm gonna go in with the blues next time. I've been on this blue kick. I don't know what it is. I still stand by that cranberry is the, the flavor of the season, is the shade of the season, but I've just been on, on blue. I don't know, maybe it's because it's like snowing outside. I don't know, but um, that's probably what I'm gonna dive into next time. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments. Let me know if you have this palette already and what you think about it. I love Bella Butte Bar. I love their formula. Just, um, I just wish, like I said, that this palette had a deeper um, brown and a deeper blue. That's literally the only thing I can say um, that I wish this palette had. That's about it. Everything else, it's... It's pretty and I'm very very happy that I waited and finally got it so yeah anyway guys that's it for this video everything that I use will be listed down below in the description box per usual if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down below and while you're here you might as well watch some more videos so that they are popping up right there and right there right there and right there right there and right there support your girl okay and I hope to see you in the next one Bye.